It is 8.03, 98.7 WFGR. Happy to welcome back to the microphone, Miss Joanne Rome from Laugh Fest and Gilda's Club. How are you? Good, you? You uh, made it through your whirlwind day. I did. Yeah. I did. I've slept a little since then. Yeah. That's yeah. a busy day for you when you announced the first really stuff for Laugh Fest. Really busy day. Really busy day. But yeah. you look a little more composed today. Yeah. You're not, <laughs> I didn't look you're not hungover. Last time yeah. I was here. <laughs> no, you just look, no, well, you look frazzled. I mean, and anybody that does that once a year. Would look fresh. Was it was it a late night before? It was. It, you know, okay. there was an event at the art museum right. the night before that didn't get done until about eleven. So oh, it started okay. setting up until then. And I hadn't had any coffee last oh. time when I was here. I'm no. caffeinated today. Good, All good, right. good. Go. Laugh Fest tickets go on sale tomorrow. They do. And this is a huge deal because it's just in time for the holidays. And you know what? If you got somebody you can't shop for, what a great idea. Give the oh. gift of laughter. That's right. So let's talk about some of these ticket packages here. What are we, what are we looking at? Okay, so there's lots of different options for ticket packages, and this truly is the the first opportunity to get the best seats to the best shows. We've had um, shows that have sold out during ticket packages before, Mm -hmm. and so if there's something you really want to see, now's the time to do it. Um, We have some pre-built packages. We have a comedy lovers package, a late night package. We even have a family friendly package. But kind of the big deal is to build your own, and there's two sections of shows. You have to pick a minimum of one in each section, and you create your own package custom to uh, what you want to see. Okay. What are the uh, shows that people are anticipating are going to be the the big sellers? You know, it's really interesting this year. I think different kind of subsects of people are Mm -hmm. excited about different things. There's not one artist that everybody's hanging their Because they're so different. Yeah, Yeah. it's a really diverse lineup. So there's a whole, you know, group of people that are really excited about Louis Black. That's going to be huge. Yeah, there's a group that are really excited about Joel McHale. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of younger folks know him from Community and The Soup and that kind of thing. Um, People are excited about Brian Regan. They've been asking us to get Brian Regan for the past two years. He's clean, you know, so that's a big deal. Right. Um, and then Justin Wilman, who is a host of Cupcake Wars and is a comedy magician, he's going to be out in Holland, and a lot of people are talking about that show, too. So you're expanding a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did a little bit of programming last year in both uh, Lowell and Holland, and mm-hmm. so we're doing a little bit more in both those communities this year, too. This thing is going to turn into like a whole statewide thing, oh. isn't it? Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> be and look amazing. at the twinkle in her eye when yeah. I, I say <laughs> that, and cool? she... She she's like devilishly looking yeah. at me, going, uh-huh. "Yeah, it's gonna. Yeah, it's that's gonna what happen. we're gonna do, well, and that's cool good. Thing. I mean, perfect. Yeah. It's a cool thing for West Michigan, especially in March. You know what else is going on? Right. It's right. usually nasty weather out, except last year it was seventy degrees. And <laughs> was <beautiful>. it really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we didn't have air conditioning at a couple of the venues uh, because why would you worry about right. air conditioning in March? You know, and it was people were sweating. Um, but I always plan mentally on right. there being a couple of feet of snow, so, and if right. there isn't, then. Right. But, it, but rest assured, it'll be less moist this year. <laughs> now, you've also announced some, some newer shows that, that you didn't quite have ready to go when you got here the first time. Yeah, we announced um, some kind of standard series that are returning. So we have the Bud Light Bloom Late Night Comedy Series. Yep. We've got Lonnie Love, Pete Holmes, Eric Andre, Neil Brennan. Those are going to be great, really fun shows. And each of them do two shows. They do a, a 10 and a midnight show. So that's a really fun thing to go to. Uh, we also have the stand-up competition. Yep. They compete for a $10,000 prize, wow. which is huge. And that's got some really fun folks on it, too. You know, once you look at the the pictures of the artists, you know, a lot of comedians, you don't know who they are till you look at right. their faces. Right. So you've got, like, Marilyn uh, Rice Cub, who was actually Chloe on 24. She's coming. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really? That's yeah. right. See? Yeah. She's a stand-up. I want to meet her. You, ne- so, you never would have seen that coming. I never would have. She's a really, just a really interesting person in general. She has a degree in fine art, and she does a lot of performance art stuff, and she does some musical comedy. So she's going to be in the competition, um, along with there's a guy that's on that um, MTV Guy Guy Code show. Have you ever seen that show mm. on MTV too? Yeah, I've seen that. it's it's interesting. Lots of guy advice on okay. you know hot topics in life, but lots of personalities that you've seen on True TV and Comedy Central and VH1. So that's going to be a really fun one to see. You get to see ten comics in one night. So that's I'd like, awesome. I just want to meet the girl from Twenty Four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's single? just awesome. I mean, uh, like, is she single? The girl uh, is Chloe. Uh-oh. I don't know. I'll no, have to I'm just find what? Out by next I'm time just I'm curious. Here. I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> he also asked for friends for directions yeah. for everything because uh, he doesn't—he hasn't figured out the word Google yet. Yeah. Oh dear! <laughs> it's one of those things. But these all go on sale tomorrow. Where do people get tickets for Laugh Fest? Online, okay. laughfestgr.org. 
Okay. Head online. It'll be right there on the front page. It'll give you all your options, all the information. You can browse and look at the information for different artists. You can put together your package. Starts at 9 a.m. Okay. So get up, get your coffee, and get online and get those ticket packages. Perfect. Joanne Rome from Laugh Fest. We're looking forward to seeing you uh, more as it gets closer. Yeah, me too. All right. There you have it. Laugh Fest tickets on sale tomorrow. Get them. Bruce Springsteen, it is 8.08, and it is on 98.7 WFGR.